Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, at various places on the internet. It's 4:26 p.m. according to the computer clock on Friday, June 8th, 2012. And in this vlog, I want to talk about the future of television. Um, I, I just went on an internet movie database and started reading some threads regarding Ringer. Still perplexed over uh, why it was canceled. I mean, apparently your ratings dipped like halfway through a season due to a two month hiatus or whatever, but it's still doing, you know, single digit ratings uh, as opposed to decimal percentage ratings. <laughs> no doubt, you know, some other series on um, the CW get. Um, the CW, the whole merger between WB and UPN, that that was such a disaster. I think it actually left them with a lower overall uh, market, which I, I still don't know how that happened. But anyway, um, the thing is, the CW seems to be very cutthroat. Uh, it will not give a series a chance to build an audience. Um, Buffy was given a chance back on the WB, and other series were given a chance and stuff like that. But, um, you know, back in like the 90s or whatever, and earlier, series were given a chance to grow. Um, that's not the case anymore. There, there are way more networks. I mean, if you look at pre-1987 or whatever, there were three networks. ABC, NBC, CBS, and, and then there was like cable, but they should have mostly reruns, or they had their own specialized programming like MTV or whatever. But yeah, ABC, NBC, CBS, those are the big three old-time networks. Then 1987 you had Fox. Okay. Um, then in 1995, within just, I think, a few days of each other, uh, the WB and UPN debuted. So that brought up to the, uh, six networks. It was five networks for like a few days, and then it was six. <laughs> and that was like in January of 1995. So that was that was uh, over 17 years ago. <laughs> it's been around that long, huh? Okay. Um, so, and they've always been smaller than the big four. And then they combined into one, and... I don't think that really worked out for them either. Supposedly, it was through deals with Netflix and perhaps Hulu that were able to fund the series on the CW and keep it uh, afloat. Otherwise, the CW would have uh, gone, would have uh, disappeared, basically, or so I've read. Um, but anyway, there are more networks on uh, network television now. There's more competition from cable, which is creating its own original programming. Um, there's, uh, there's like uh, internet streaming services, you know, Netflix, and uh, there's, you know, watching the network series uh, on the network's own websites. I mean, usually they might wait a day or a week, you know, a delay to put them up, but you can still watch them there. And, um, you know, there's Hulu and, yeah. Um, all this is kind of seriously diluted. Um, diluted, not diluted. Um, TV ratings. Um,. And the thing is, TV ratings, I don't believe for a minute, were ever accurate. Because all is, all that is, is based on a sample. 
you know, people that are chosen to become members of the Nielsen family. They get the box hooked up to their TV, and they have to make a, they have to make a note of which channel that they're watching at which time or whatever. I don't believe that a sample of perhaps at most a few thousand people or a few thousand households around the country is indicative of how many people watch any given series total in, in the entire country. Um, also, the ratings don't measure how many people watch a series. They measure how many people watch the commercials. How many television sets are tuned to a programming block that includes particular commercials. Because the you know, networks get advertised, they, they sell advertising space to companies like whatever, any type of company that you can imagine, McDonald's, uh, Affleck, uh, what, whatever, just any type of business, uh, Walmart, you know, stuff like that. And uh, based on the television ratings, it determines what the networks feel that they can charge for like a 30 second or one minute advertising space during a particular half hour block or one hour block. The thing is, most people don't watch TV live anymore. And I, I usually don't either, except, you know, for a few series throughout the week. But generally, I've fallen off of uh, watching live television, so to speak. Um, and and see what what do I watch still? Small fell in the last year, so uh, I I was watching Pan Am that got canceled. I was watching Ringer that got canceled. I'm watching. Well, I've been away from Once Upon a Time, but since it's been renewed, I'll start watching it again. Same thing with Suburgatory. And, uh, I've stuck with Revenge. I'll keep watching Revenge. I'm gonna watch Arrow on the CW. That's the Green Arrow series. I might... Check out the Vampire Diaries, maybe. Uh, but yeah, like four, maybe five series total that, I, that I'm interested in. And uh, there's Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Good boy. I can leave that. I mean, the only reason I watch is because, you know, someone that I might actually like might be a contestant on there. I was excited when Nicole Scherzinger was on there, and I was excited when Jennifer Grey was on there, but, yeah. Um, okay, uh, so what, what's the future of television? This might sound a bit extreme, but I don't think television itself has a future. Um, and the reason for that is, um, uh, just, just because of it, television itself has become so diluted and so spread out across the multiple, uh, channels, and then there, there's the internet, and there's video gaming, and there's live streaming your own gaming sessions, and there's creating YouTube content, and all, all this other stuff. So, uh, I know I, I watch more stuff on the internet in one week than I do on television. I'll tell you that right now. Um... It's mostly not even scripted series, it's it's reviews. Game reviews, movie reviews, show reviews. 
whatever. I can I can listen to uh, I can watch Spoonie talk about role playing for an hour. It's so I really think that television will eventually be going away. Uh, or at least television as we know it. We, what, we might have a television in our houses still, but it might be hooked up to the internet and uh, you just kind of fly, you kind of just stream whatever you want. It'll be like, you know, you'd go on uh, on iTunes or Amazon Instant Video on, on your television in, in your living room or in your bedroom or whatever. You can rent an episode for let's say one ninety nine, buy it for two ninety nine, whatever, something like that. No commercials, you just get the episode or you get the movie or whatever. Or and another thing is that the uh the season format might be done away with. I mean, why would there need to be a season? They could just come out with new episodes, you know, as they come up with them. They don't need to do like 22, 44 minute episodes in one season from fall to spring or whatever. There doesn't need to be any kind of schedule. And there, there really did, there really wouldn't be competition. There wouldn't be like grading stunts or whatever like that. It would be just, you know, film the content, set a price to to be able to make your money back or whatever and make a little profit on top of it and put it out there. If it's good, people will buy it. If not, well, then you'll, then you'll move on to something else. Um, so... Those are my thoughts about um, the current state of television and the future of television. Uh, let me know what you think. Agree, disagree, have some other thoughts about it that I didn't think of, whatever. Um, but, yeah, so it's, uh, it's 4.39 p.m. and that's it. Thanks for watching.